Now, once again, this is a very straightforward result oriented question. If you have remembered the result, this is a common emitter amplifier. They have given you the input voltage and they are asking you to find out the output voltage. You see, first thing is that amplitude will be multiplied by the gain. And second thing which you have to remember as a result in common emitter amplifier is that output signal is out of phase by pi compared to input voltage. This is what you have to remember. So here in input signal, I will simply be multiplied, multiplying by gain that is 150. So 150 into 2 that is 300. So in your option, the amplitude should be 300. So these two options are gone. And now you have to see that the phase must be added to pi or subtracted by pi. You will find that only first option is satisfying all these conditions. Second option is not having any phase difference. So correct answer I will be marking for this question will be the first one that was question 173. Switch over to next question that is 174. Now this question 174 it is based on dimensional analysis but we will be using a direct formula that of Reynolds number here. You know that Reynolds number which is a dimensionless quantity it is written as rho vd upon eta and if you rearrange then this velocity can be written as Reynolds number multiplied by coefficient of viscosity this is density and diameter or radius whatever you say and this is given as eta raised to the power x this rho raised to the power y and r raised to the power z. So if you compare these two you can clearly see x power will be 1 but y power will be minus 1 and z power will be again minus 1. So that gives you the idea that the option 2 will be correct option for this question 174. Switch over to next question 175. Now this is a, a kind of question which is based on single loop circuit of current electricity. Here you have ammeter, battery and a resistance all connected in series in a single loop. So the voltage source has been given to be equal to you can see 30 volt and this uh, resistance value is 40.8 ohm. And this ammeter has a description, this entire ammeter has a description in the sense that it has essentially two resistors in parallel. The coil resistance is 480 and it has been shunted by 20 ohm. So that way effective resistance of this thing is 480 into 20 upon 480 plus 20 ohm. Understand this? So that makes it basically 19.2 ohm. So this is the resistance of ammeter. Now you see if you add these two it simply becomes total resistance to be 60 ohm. So current which will be through this that will be same through ammeter current will be simply 30 volt upon this uh, 60 ohm and that will make it 0.5 ampere. So I will be the marking the answer 2 for this question 175. Switch over to next question that is 176. 